A little nervous, but I think still alright. <laughs> Quite excited too. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Can you Hi. Yeah. To the camera. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Yeah. Oh, my name is Sichi. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm 25 this year. All right. Work. I'm Sean, and yeah. I'm 24 this year. Mm. Mm. What do you do? Oh, currently I'm on. Um, I just uh, resigned, so I'm looking towards uh, to try a new company. What kind of company? So I'm looking at uh, all those uh, FMCGs. What, what is FMCG? Uh, fast moving consumer goods, you know, oh. like uh, Nestle, Colgate, yeah. all, all those sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? Uh, I'm a teacher. Oh. Yeah, oh, I teach so cool. um, primary and secondary school. All right, all right. Yeah. Should we start? Yes. Are you nervous? Yeah, my heart is like. <laughs> 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 You want to start first? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is the best compliment you've ever received? I always think of this one story. Uh, I grew up in I grew up in church, and so I was part of like a youth group, and so I was like a leader in the youth group. So I would take care of all like you know like different different people. And then one time after youth, we went to like a mamak. You know we we're all kids, so like we don't really order one portion. We just like share 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 kind right. And so I was like standing up, walking around the table, and like serving everyone food. And then there was a person who recently just just joined as like a visitor, and um, he was like observing us. He's like a little bit older, so I like really looked up to this person, like smart cool you know guy and then he comes up to me and say you have um, he says like you have such a servant heart and it was so like wow because like he saw he saw my heart you know he didn't see me as like oh you're such a good leader or like you're funny and that kind of stuff and so even till now like i remember that even though it happened so long ago yeah, yeah. i think like the best compliment is not on the appearance yeah. but the inside value yeah. yeah like how people say oh you're so kind you're like a sunshine yeah. those are really like <laughs> is that different. what you say to the girls <laughs> you're like a sunshine <laughs> depends <laughs> if, do you believe in god i do <laughs> um, i'm a buddhist how about you i'm christian you're christian yeah right? yeah all right so yeah. definitely believe in god yeah i do believe in <laughs> god yeah i pray a lot um, and most of the time I felt like my prayers got answered. Mm, that's good. Does it bring you some kind of like comfort when you definitely, pray? Definitely. Yeah. Most of the time, I pray for having the strength to overcome hardships. That's that's mm. the most I pray about. Not to say I wanted anything. I just I just needed the strength. Yeah. To get through it. Yeah. It's good. I feel like a lot of times we will pray for the hardships to go away. Mm -hmm. So it's like good that you just pray for strength and you don't like just wish things to disappear. When was the best chapter of your life? I think I've played this card so many times, but I always say when I was in high school, because that was when I was the happiest. I have no worries. I was very like secure in who I was. I had a lot of friends, like life was going great. But then I realized when I kept looking back at that time, it was it was like I I wasn't appreciating it now, you know. So now I would say that like this is the best chapter. Because I feel like, especially in my career, I have like grown so much in ways that I've never imagined. Um, I'm very lucky for that. Yeah, and, and cause I, I told you like, I just moved to KL, right? So moving to KL at first, it was very, very hard because I moved during MCO. Right. I didn't have any like, it's very hard to make friends. So I was like very alone. Um, but now like things are opening up. I'm like meeting more people. So I'm pretty happy where I'm at now. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks. Yeah. If you ask me, I would also say now. Mm. For the past one year, um, it's been really tough for me. Um, I've seen the version of myself um, which is the most broken, mm. but yet also the strongest. So best chapter, um, probably now too. Yeah. Um, for the past one year, I um, have a relationship breakup. I have a family member who passed away, very close one. And I have another family member who's very ill. Mm. And a lot of expectations on myself as well. But even with all these hardships, I'm very grateful that I have I found the strength, you know, yeah. to overcome them. I guess uh, positivity attracts positivity and things are getting better. So yeah. it's the strongest version of myself I've seen. So probably the best chapter yet. Mm, I'm happy for you. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like you have to, not have to, but when you go through these kind of things, then you learn to appreciate what you have more. and then. Yes, definitely. 
What were the most difficult life choices you had to make? Mm-hmm. I'm like, kind of scared my parents are going to see this. <laughs> but, but ever, since, ever since I graduated from high school, I've always been in a relationship. I don't know what it is. Like, I just want someone there for me. I want to be taken care of. Um, I just crave that kind of like love um, and companionship that I just couldn't really find in friendships. Like I, have, I still have a lot of good friends, but like that's like one thing that I just really, really desired. And so a lot of times in my life where I was in a relationship that wasn't healthy, um, to me, ending it, even though I like, like this person so much and so attached to them and a lot of codependency actually, which is like not good. Uh, um, those like were the hardest moments in my life because I had to, it's like my head versus my heart. Yeah. Like what I know is right versus like what my heart wants. And like a lot of tears and a lot of like, like um, hurt. Like not breaking up soon enough. You know, I keep like dragging it out. Um, I am happy to say like now it's a lot better, a lot more clarity. As I grow older, I have no time to waste. Like, <laughs> oh my God, don't play with me. I just wanna like get it done, you know? I'm not here to like date around. Um, right, I, I know because I've been there myself and like you said, you know, sometimes you know it's not good for you mm-hmm. but it's, you're so used to it, right? Yeah. Yes, you're so used to it and it's just so hard to let go sometimes. Very proud of how I've grown also. So mm-hmm. definitely very proud of you too. Thanks. You should be proud of yourself too. Thanks. Yeah. What is the most painful lesson you have learned? How has it changed who you are today? Definitely would be when my um, grandma passed away. Being a little kid, I thought we had forever. Yeah. <laughs> Not to say I'm being a bad grandchild, but just maybe I've taken a lot of things for granted. Not spending enough time, although I'm always we are in the same house. Mm. So this lesson definitely makes me be grateful for the person around me. That's why um, I'm most there for my friends, my families. Family, especially, they are like number one to me. Like, there's nothing more important. I'll do whatever for them. Seriously, like, you want me to uh, climb a mountain, jump to the ocean, I'll do, I'll do anything. Like, yeah. That's the one time I feel I really grew up a lot, having to lose a family member and realizing that you can do so much more. Yeah. What about you? When I was in college, um, my first ever relationship, um, I like really like this person. So growing up, like my faith was the most important thing to me. And I always put God first in my life. Like that, I mean, this is the reason why I'm alive. Like it really is so, so important to me. And I believe that God should hold the number one seat in my life. When I dated this guy, um, I knew he was like not, he was like wrong for me. Like everyone around me was like, girl, <laughs> open your eyes. I was like, no. He's cute and all that. And there was one point where I was praying to God. I was like, God, like, I have done everything right in my life up to this point. I have loved you so much, like in my arrogance, right, up to this point. Just let me do what I want now. And then um, I, I don't want you. I don't want to choose you. I'm going to choose this person. I saw how my life just like went downhill there because my priorities were wrong. I was like putting someone who doesn't deserve to be the first place in my life. Give him everything. Like I didn't hang out with my friends anymore. Like I just like cut everything short. I just wanted my world to be worked around him. So he became like what I worship, not just what I loved. And that was the most painful like part of my life because I just like gave so much to someone who didn't appreciate it and who didn't really like love me back the way that I, I loved him and a lot of hurt. It, it scarred me so deep. Yeah, it's a very painful moment in my life. But now, like, I realize the importance of my faith and how that grounds me and how that makes me who I am. And so I would like never ever like let that go for another man or like anything. That's character development. <laughs> yeah, like we grow, right? Yeah. I feel like yeah. We... You have two minutes to answer any questions from the group. What's the, where's the group? Me. I am the group. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> okay, two minutes. Can I ask any questions? Yes. Go ahead. Can I be a bit like? Explicit or personal? No worries. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> let's go, let's go. When was the last time you kissed someone? Oh my god, last time I kissed someone? Eight months ago. Was it your ex girlfriend? When was the last time you cried? Last time I cried? Oh, it was quite recent. 
when my grandpa passed away in mm. February. Mm -hmm. That's my last time. Mm -hmm. Are you someone who gets angry a lot? Nope, I'm like the most cheerful person. Oh really? <laughs> what is one thing that can make you really really angry? I really can't think of anything. So you rarely get angry? I rarely get angry. If you ask any of my friends, they never see me get angry. It's not like I don't get angry. I, I just don't. <laughs> okay, what, so, so if you never get angry, I rarely get angry, what is a negative emotion that you usually feel? Negative it's like... emotion? I, of course I get sad and mm. I get like, I do like isolate myself from everyone. I just, you know, stay in my own room and just be there, just just being alone. Okay. That's like probably my like my most negative emotion. Okay. Just I don't talk to anyone, like I don't reply messages. But maybe it will only last like for a day. You isolate yourself, yeah. uh. Just to calm myself down, get myself back on track. Okay. Have you ever slid into someone's DMs? Slid into someone's DM. And like hit on them? Not really. <laughs> He's so wholesome, there's no, there's no tea. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's the most like the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? Craziest thing I've ever done is I've slept on the road when I was drunk. You slept on <laughs> the road. My parents to see. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how old were you? Uh, during my uni time, it was in Manchester. Mm. That's one night I got super drunk and I couldn't make it home and I just slept there <laughs> on the streets. By yourself? Yeah. No one robbed you. No one robbed me. Uh, my friends took all my wallet and phone and they just dumped me there. <laughs> They took your wallet and they left you there. <gasps> Time? Okay. Oh, that's so interesting. Why? Why didn't they carry you home? I guess I'm too heavy. <laughs> and they didn't stay there with you? No. It, it was okay. Like, it was like, not too bad. I woke up <laughs> morning and like, oh, I just went back home. Then my, they, they, they just returned me my wallet. <laughs> well, at least they took your wallet. They cared about you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that... Dot, dot, dot. So this is the start of the sentence. Uh, finish the sentence with a wish you have for yourself and everyone. Take turns to share. I think my biggest like take home from today, like with the conversation with you, like what you've been saying to me, is that I have to like just take better care of myself <laughs> and not be so hard on myself. And the crazy thing is, I always hear that from everyone. My friends are like, "Don't be so hard on yourself." And to hear that from a stranger. Um, just by you like spending such a short time with me means that mm, there's like some truth to that, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm, so I hope that yeah, I learn to pace myself, be kinder to myself, feel myself first, so that I can like love people better. For you, I think that you are entering a season of like a lot of new things, like new job, um, growing from like maybe like a very painful season of your life. So I hope that you would continue to grow. Wish for myself, definitely. Uh, I'd like to step out of my comfort zone more. Mm. Mm -hmm. Try new things, get to know more people. For you, I'm very glad that I get to know you today. You're a very nice person. I, I felt like we are similar in a lot of ways. Yeah. I felt like we both like grown a lot from our experiences. Mm. I see that you have uh, become someone who's like, much stronger. You know yourself more. And again, yeah, <laughs> don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> and have time for yourself. Mm. And things will get much easier. And you'll find more peace with yourself and more happy things will come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, my heart is so full. I really enjoy our conversation. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, moving forward, uh, if anything, I'll be here for you too. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>